Okay guys, so today what I'm going to be showing you is how to make your paintings in Photoshop look a little bit more realistic. Now what I'm talking about here is if I pull up some reference images of different paintings that I found on Google Images, you can see that there's actually a little bit of texture in the painting that they're doing, as well as you can see like the individual brush strokes. Here's a little bit more of an exaggerated example where you can see pretty much every individual bristle of the brush. Now when you're painting in Photoshop, you don't normally see any of that. It's more just straight up pixels and hard lines. So in order to get what we want with that, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our smudge tool. And once we have that selected, we are going to get this uh, brush, which is a chalk brush. There will be a link to it in the description below. It is free to download and everything. But basically what we do is we want to set our strength of our smudge tool to around 75%. That's about a good number. And then what we want to do is we just want to go in here and, you know, kind of dab stuff around, make it look a little more artsy and realistic, like as if we were actually painting it. Now, I should be using my tablet right now, but I don't have it out. But when you're really working into this, you're going to want to use your tablet. I'll pull it. I'll probably pull it out here in a sec. But yeah, so basically you want to just keep doing this until you have the entire image that you want to do smoothed out and brushed and everything. And yeah, so I am going to go ahead and do that for the rest of this image right here, the rest of Cora. And I will get back to you guys once I have that finished. Alright, so now that we have our image all brushed up and everything and kind of smoothed out, uh, if you look closely here, you can see that it's actually really blurry when you do it because that's basically what the smudge tool does is it smudges stuff. So what we want to do is we want to go up to Filter and then down to Sharpen and then Smart Sharpen. What this will do is it'll kind of make everything look a lot more fine and sharpen stuff up, I guess. 
So just play with these settings over here until you get something that you think is reasonable and you like. Okay, after messing around for a little bit, I think I found something that is acceptable. So well, I have the amount at 398%, it's 1.4 pixels, and the reduced noise is at 5%. Now when you're playing around with reduced noise, you want to keep it on the low down because if it's really high and you can see in here it starts to blur it up a little bit a little bit more, but we want to keep it pretty sharp, so I'm gonna set it back at 5%, which is where I had it, and that's how I liked it. So as I move this image around this little box, you can actually see kind of what it looked like before and after I applied the sharpening. So before it's kind of really blurry, but afterwards it's really nice okay so I'm just gonna click OK here and that'll do its sharpening stuff and yeah alright so now that our sharpening has finished uh, rendering and stuff if we go in here and look at these pixels some more we can actually see that it does look a lot finer and let me scroll around here a lot finer and more painty than it did before especially down here in the water that I did here. I know I forget you can hold the space bar to move it around but yeah this is kind of how you make your paintings in Photoshop look a little bit more realistic as if you painted them on canvas so yeah guys that has pretty much been this tutorial in Photoshop if you want to check out any of my other videos such as how to use a drawing tablet I would highly encourage that make sure to like the video if this helps you out and make sure to subscribe for future videos thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later